Someone coming towards us. You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Er, <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, and Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move up. Keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Okay. Let's head down there. Hitch up here. Whoa! Let me do the talk. We don't want to scare these folks. Someone's having fun in there. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Micah, 
Hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of you. Arthur, what are you doing? I said get out of sight. Shed over there. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the train. Arthur, we got a problem. Oh. <laughs> There's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur. need some... There's a body of food in the wagon. Or something. I hear you. Just gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should... Over there! Four of them! It's an ambush! upside down grab as many supplies as you can we need the essentials food medicine whiskey O'Driscoll's I don't believe it it's a strange one all right maybe they're hiding up here too there's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh. Looks like the poor bastard was married, too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. The place is dry, warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses.
Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin and see what we need. Sure. to here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Well, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. Now, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. Okay, we mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on, it'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. 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 Are you okay, miss? They came three days ago. Then my husband, they... Okay. Miss, you are safe now. You can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Miss, it's okay. Uh, we're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. 
Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Dead, but he weren't the first. Cole O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know the situation were reversed. He looked for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, it seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. Here's some tracks leading to the river. Continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So 
So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Take it slow. Big ravine here. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. We'll continue along the cliff wall here. Davy got shot. Mac and John both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Move it, let's go! The tracks lead this way, Arthur. Yeah. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. It's getting narrow here. Come on, boy. Horses are struggling. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Now let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? You getting that gun then? Slippery, be careful. You sure about this? It's coming. 
coming from this way. Okay. Mierda, yeah, we're high up here. You're telling me. Careful. There's a drop here. Careful here. Stay low under here. Okay from here. Watch your step. It's real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up this way. Gap here. Over here. That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John! a few days I know here take a drink of that thanks not designed for this snow let's keep moving then come on John 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 can you hear me Scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. <clears throat> Freezing. <clears throat> don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See? I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. You all right? I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. You see that on the ridge? Perfect. You head for the horses. I'll keep John's friends off until you're clear. Okay, here we go, John. We'll leave them to Arthur. Got bit by a dog. 
die an hour later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. Up there! Four of them! <laughs> Get the hell out of here! Get up! Look out on the right! More coming in on the left! Get the hell out of here! Get out of here! You see any more, Arthur? Don't think so. Jesus! You still with us, Marston? Just about. You're gonna be okay. You have some shelter now. Thanks. Coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. We should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know? We're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Oh, here we go. There we go. Ah, you oh. careful, idiotas. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're going to get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I uh, suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that... that civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Moggy. <sighs> We've been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. We had a bit of bad luck. But then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit, and we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, and we get some more money, and we keep heading. But we're heading east. For now. We got this. Oh, sorry. We're safe. Stay strong, Jose. What about you, Arthur? You doubt me too? Never. Because you know me, son. I'm just getting started. Once we get some money, well, they... They better send some good men after us, because they ain't never... ...gonna find us. But we need money. Of course, Dutch. Thank you, son. Here you, son. Up with you boys because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. 
<laughs> what a party. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you. Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this score of their planet. There's quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Goddamn ready. Ready, ready, Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. Definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. All right, let's go pay our old friends a visit. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You two, get up there and keep us covered. Sure thing. Come 
on, let's go. We'll circle around the far side and go down that way, same as Mike and Bill. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including calm, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on. Watch out. It's a bit steep. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. Down through these trees, quick. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. And if we don't have time to debate this... Okay, fine. You make the move. All right, on me. Good luck. Kill every last one of these bastards!
doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun, ride a horse, and kill without thought, you're in. Think how long some of you have been with me. I imagine Cone doesn't even know half the names of these fools. here. We're waiting on you, Arthur. We don't have time to mess around. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. Go search that wagon there. Watch. Search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go.
Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right. Let's get out of here. Proud of you, boys. All of you. Got a man oh. down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us as hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Hey, what are you doing? Just talking about something. Well, he didn't get combed, but this hit'll hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will. Just like what all are you the rest. Doing? But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. Got me mixed up with someone else. <laughs> Come on, I, I, I'm nobody, Mister. What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! Please. 
Cause I'll do anything. They don't tell me nothing. I swear. I, I don't know nothing of real about them. Honest. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Cause I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay. Okay. That's two bones right there. Introduce you to the boys. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Huh. You found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson. Tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on coal. Well, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 